Financial Statement Vertical Analysis Problem 2. FIG Company reported the following amounts on its balance sheet as of December 31st, 20X9 and December 31st, 20X8. So the information is presented in a table with 20X9 and 20X8. Cash and receivables in 20X9, $155,000. Cash and receivables in 20X8, $65,000. Merchandise inventory 20X9, $145,000. Merchandise inventory 20X8, $250,000. Property plant and equipment net 20X9, $830,000. Property, plant, and equipment, 20X8, $760,000. Total assets, 20X9, $1,130,000. Total assets, 20X8, $1,075,000. Total liabilities, 20X9, $495,000. Total liabilities, 20X8, $415,000. For the vertical analysis, what is the percentage of total liabilities for December 31st, 20X8? We're doing vertical analysis. This is for the vertical analysis. Now we know vertical analysis, the percentage analysis of the relationship of each component in a financial statement to a total within the statement is called a vertical analysis. And the idea, depending on the kind of statement you're looking at, balance sheet versus income statement, and the specific item on the balance sheet, that's what your denominator is going to be when you're doing the vertical analysis. So if you're looking at balance sheet with assets, an asset issue, asset item, the denominator, so the item of the assets over Total assets is how you calculate. And vertical analysis, you're doing the same year. If it's a balance sheet item and it's a liability or stockholder's equity, we'll just call it equity item because it could be a sole proprietorship where you have owner's equity, partnership where you have owner's equity or capital. It's going to be the item at issue over total liabilities plus equity. And finally, any income statement item you take the item at issue that you're asked about and you put it over the denominator of sales, of sales. And those are really, when you're looking at the financial statements, how we break down vertical analysis. Again, vertical analysis, you're focused specifically on one year. Here it's 20X8. Now it's asking the percentage of total liabilities for December 31st, 20X8. So we can eliminate the column 20X9. We don't even have to worry about that in this problem. We can go ahead and put in a line through there, all irrelevant. And we're focused specifically on the total liabilities, this item. Now, I'm not going to cross off anything else because we might need other items. So we're looking at the balance sheet and we're looking at liabilities. We're looking here. Specifically, it's asking about total liabilities. So we're using this 415,000 and 20x8 for total liabilities. So the specific item is going to be x over total liabilities plus equity or stockholders equity. It's going to be that, that sum of items. We're asked about total li liabilities. What is the percentage of total liabilities? So X is going to be total liabilities for 20 X eight, which is $415,000. We got that here. That's this number. We're going to put that over the total of liabilities, $415,000 plus stockholders equity or just equity. Now looking at the items here with cash and receivables asset, merchandise inventory asset, property plan equipment, asset, total assets, asset, total liabilities, nothing about equity. So you're saying, huh, how do we get total liabilities plus stock or equity? We use our friendly friend, or we use our friendly, our friendly favorite to help us determine what total liabilities plus stock or equity. That's right, the accounting equation. Because remember, assets, which we have the total assets here, which is $1,075,000 equals liabilities, plus equity. So that means on the left, assets $1,075,000 must equal $1,075,000 on the right. And that is what is our denominator, $1,075,000. We can go ahead and put that in there. We don't know equity, but we know the total of liabilities and equity equals $1,075,000. So therefore, we can calculate our percentage. And our percentage here is going to be 38.60%. Or 38.6%. And we've just solved for the vertical analysis as a percentage of total liabilities for December 31st, 20x8.